What is up everybody, buddy buddy buddy, and welcome back to another Marvel Snap video, video, video. So today guys, of course bringing all a brand new deck, and this deck guys, this is a white tiger on reveal deck, which you might find very interesting because usually you don't do uh, like white tiger on reveals. So, I am pretty excited to uh, give this one a shot just because White Tiger did recently get buffed. I believe her, um, I believe her Tiger does more damage, if I'm not mistaken. Well, not does more damage, but has more power, sorry, if I'm not mistaken, but... I believe that's the early change that happened to White Tiger, but I am pretty excited, like I said, to give her a shot. Just because of that improvement. Of course, we have a bunch of other cards that synergize with her really well, such as Wong, Einard, so on and so forth. Uh, but I'll probably... Oh. Never mind, I was gonna go like Iron Lad, but they just retreat for whatever reason, so hey man, I guess GG's to them. Alright, first up is West View. So depending on what location that turned into, could either mean it's really good or really bad. Dream Dimension though is annoying because that's gonna make my Iron Man a six cost on turn five when I will be able to play him. So probably won't be able to play him when I want to. So that is pretty annoying. But Addie Land as well is also really annoying. So I'm just gonna drop Iron Lad, see who he does copy. Hopefully it's a good ability. But it won't really matter as well because Addie Land's gonna shuffle the cards afterwards. So it doesn't mean I'm guaranteed to draw that card. Uh, but maybe he does copy White Tiger. That would be pretty nice. As my opponent is taking a pretty long time, he ends up copying Absorbing Man, which sucks because, yeah, there's no target and. There goes my Nebula and his own Absorbing Man. Okay, I like that I got Wong and I have a White Tiger, but again, the Dream Dimension is kind of annoying uh, in this situation, but I'll go Wong into an Echo. Dream Dimension's gonna stuff me up because it's gonna make a White Tiger a 6 cost. He discards Swarm, so that's kind of tough for us, but of course Wong into... I mean, I might as well have played Echo, it's nothing else I could have done. <laughs> okay, I get Absorbing Man, which is kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> um, I guess I'll play him just where Wong is. He's not going to do anything, but... Oh man, it's just funny because, well, he's got to drop his Apocalypse next turn. Of course, Absorbing Man has no target. And White Tiger over on the right might give us a chance to win, but you never really know. It depends where he plays his Apocalypse. That is my only thing. Yeah. I've got to hope White Okay, that's good. I mean, we still lose, but... Oh, actually, no, we don't. Let's go. What the heck? That, that's the buff. So, I was so used to the Tiger Spirit being um, 7 power that I thought we were going to die over on the left, but like I was saying earlier, White Tiger got buffed, so now her Tiger Spirits are 8 power instead of 7, so... That helped us get the win. We were pretty lucky that both of them decided to go over to the left, so GG's to them. First up is Yotunheim, so not really my favorite. I am going up against someone with a, um infinite border, so that does 
because that is pretty scary because that means uh, they've completed infinite conquest so they might try and sweat this one out but regardless I like the cards that I have of course I'm definitely gonna go iron lad next turn depending on if I draw Wong or not next turn as well because I could just go uh, Wong and then iron art and then you know stuff like that but <laughs> Oh uh, man, speak of the devil, here is Wong, so pretty lucky that we got him. Um, I could drop him, but I might just go Mobius. That way, he does end up moving, and oh gosh, of course he goes to freaking Yerdenheim. <laughs> what are the odds, but... I can probably go Iron Lad. Maybe. Well, the thing is, is I, I do want to get Wong out, but I feel like this is probably better as he plays his own Mobius. Would have been nice if uh, I hit him with the Echo, but Iron Lad does get Nebulous abilities. That's not too bad. I will just go Wong into a nebula, that's fine. And then of course I can just go like Iron Heart uh, next turn and we should be good, but it would have been nice if I played Echo on the right because of that Mobius, but then again I never knew he was going to play it. Oh well, it is what it is. But then I could probably go Iron Heart next turn as this guy does snap, so I have no idea what they're planning. Um, but he can always move that Jeff. He plays Professor X, which, I mean, that's fair. So he just locks down my Wong location. Um, I can go like Echo into a Jubilee and hope it's something good, but I feel like it's probably safer to just retreat because, I mean, even if I was lucky, I would have gotten what, like an Iron Man from Jubilee, but it only would have doubled it to what, like four. <sighs> that wouldn't mean anything too crazy, so it is what it is. Uh, GG Spider <laughs> Washington DC, definitely not too bad. I love the cards that I have out on the board right now. This is going to be beautiful. Avengers Compound is kind of annoying. So, I'm going to have to play Wong down there when I get the chance. Limbo, so turn 7, that is actually really, really nice. Because I could go Wong, White Tiger, and then like Iron Heart, and potentially even Iron Lad. So, definitely not too bad as I get a crystal. So, I've got a feeling they're running like a hella discard. That is usually what happens when, you know, they have like a crystal. Because they're trying to get the most amount of cards in their hand, so then they can drop Murdoch. And then, you know, get rid of their entire hand, but they play magic, which is weird because we already have a limbo, so don't really know what they were planning to do there. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. White Tiger, and then Iron Heart into an Odin. This is going to be so, so beautiful. Of course, like I said, they could be running Hella Discard, so... You never really know, but I feel pretty good. There's the Invisible Woman, and that's probably what, like, Lady Sif or Blade or something. Um, I'll probably just go, like, Zabu into an Iron Heart. That's fine, yeah.
Okay, now we're down to the final turn. I can just go Odin and then probably... I feel like that's it. Like, just Odin. I don't need to put Echo out there because she's not going to have that much power. But of course, White Tiger is going to basically fill the board with all of her tigers. And then Einar just going to buff everyone, which is kind of nutty. I feel pretty good, like I said, but... I don't think they're gonna have a Shang-Chi, right? At least I hope not. Okay, Lady Sif gets rid of the Infinite, Modok, and then Hella. So, like I said, I figured, yeah, actually, they didn't really discard as many cards as I thought. Yeah, that was strange. They did not discard nearly as many cards as I thought they would have, so. I guess they kind of got unlucky with the draw there, but regardless, GG's to them. Anyway, yeah guys, yeah guys, yeah guys. That is it for this video.